Hi, I'm Philip from Optimize Lab, and in this video, I'm going to be doing an audit for a small Google Ads account. And um, I'm, I'm choosing this account to make a video about because it demonstrates a lot of the mistakes that can be made when setting up a Google Ads campaign and how that can be quite costly for a client. Now, this particular account was set up by an agency and they happen to be a web design agency. So they don't specialize in pay-per-click advertising. And so that's partly why a lot of mistakes were made. And the client uh, is not happy with the results that they've had over the course of the duration of the campaign. Uh, they're not spending a lot through the campaign, but part of the reason for that is that they're not getting the results they're looking for in terms of leads. Um, so I'm going to demonstrate how you can find some of these mistakes within accounts and what needs to be done to rectify them so that the client uh, or if it's your account so that your business can begin generating clients to help propel the growth of your business, uh, increase your revenue and increase the profitability of your campaigns. So to start off with, um, we're just going to take a look at the campaign settings uh, of one of their campaigns. And this is a call only campaign um, using call ads. So the way this campaign is supposed to function is um, people see ads and they can only call through that ad. They only have the option of calling the business. Um, now, once they click the call button, they can hang up. Uh, in which case, of course, the client won't get a call. But the idea of the ads is that it gives you what you're looking for as the client, or as the advertiser, which is more phone calls. You want those phone call leads. Now, this business is an emergency tire repair service. So their clients are typically uh, on the road or even on the motorway, and they're looking for assistance to help them fix their tire. So call only campaign is actually the best campaign for them to be using. But if we look at the settings, we can see that there are some issues. So firstly, um, what we can see here is the networks that have been selected. Uh, Google search partners may not necessarily be a bad option. Uh, you can get good traffic from search partners. These are the smaller search engines that Google is partnered with and um, they display their ads through these search uh, networks also. So that's not a bad option to test that. However, Selecting display network for this type of campaign is definitely a mistake because the display network is made up of lots of different websites where display ads, so image and text ads, um, can be shown for people who are browsing the internet. Um, now, if you are uh, on the roadside and you need emergency repair, you're not going to be browsing the internet uh, reading uh, articles online or um, wasting your time in forums. Uh, so this is not a good way of targeting somebody who needs emergency repair. This is just going to end up in basically wasting ad spend. So display network should not have been selected. It's the default option. So I'm not surprised that that mistake has been made. Um, now, moving on, we can also see a few other mistakes that have been made. So I'm just going to click here on the locations section and we're going to open this up and you can see there's a number of different locations. These are the service areas that the client uh, works in. But if we go to this hidden option here, location options or slightly hidden, more obscure, you can see that this select this option has been selected people in who or who show an interest in your targeted locations. Uh, and this is the rec recommended option by Google. And part of the reason that it's recommended is that it gives you a wider scope and it can mean that you spend more money through your campaigns. But it's not the option that I recommend. The option I would recommend is to select people in or regularly in your targeted locations. Because typically when an advertiser, um, a company is selecting locations where they'd like to show their ads, they want the person who's seeing those ads to actually be in that location and not to be in another location where they're just searching, um, potentially looking for services in um, that location that you've targeted and that's uh, going to be down to Google's um, 
information of where they think this person is searching for these services and it might not be completely accurate um so if you select people in or who show interest in your target locations they could be in a separate country but they've shown an interest in your target location and therefore you're showing ads to them which ultimately can waste your budget um and i'm sure that's happening in this case uh, and I know it is actually happening. So if I look at the locations report here, so you can access this locations report and see where your ads are actually showing by uh, selecting locations on the left hand side and then selecting user location report. And we can see here that uh, a lot of the traffic, of course, is coming from the United Kingdom, but it's going to be many locations in the United Kingdom, not just the locations that have been selected for the targeting. But then more crucially, uh, what we can see here is ads are showing in Italy, Austria, Belgium, Germany, France, Greece. You've got even India, um, uh, the United Arab Emirates, Australia, Brazil, Bulgaria. So their ads are showing all over the world. And this is ultimately going to be wasting their money. It can also decrease their quality scores because they're getting lower click through rates because people who are seeing these ads are not in your location. Um, so it can have a lot of knock on effects on the performance of your campaigns. And again, the reason these mistakes have been made is because the account has been set up by somebody who's not experienced in Google ads, somebody who doesn't necessarily know what they're doing. Um, and a lot of these mistakes are very easy to make for somebody who's not an expert. Um, now we can also see that uh, this is a typical ad group that they have. So they've got one ad group and in that ad group, they only have one ad and that is certainly quite a big error because google is going to select from all of the ads that you have in an ad group the one that is calculated to generate the most the highest uh, click-through rates that's going to get uh, that's more likely to get a click and also crucially that's more likely to get a conversion that's more likely to get a customer for your business so if you're using only one ad you are doing zero testing you're not doing any testing at all you're not using uh, one of the most powerful features of google ads which is your ability to test what works and what doesn't and then improve that performance of your campaign and maximize the use of your advertising budget so that is a uh, quite a big error there there should be multiple ads within every single ad group so that you can see what works and what doesn't um, now also uh, very crucially uh, the ad group has um, all of the keywords being targeted just stuffed into that ad group just in one ad group when what you ultimately want to be doing is having separate ad groups for keywords grouped according to their relevance. This allows you to set ads that are specific to those keywords um, and review the performance of those groups of keywords. And you can always segment them even further. You can have um, ad groups that are specifically set up for a particular keyword so you can really get down and optimize and we can see the effects of this on the right hand side just by looking at the quality score these are very very low quality scores of three one two and we can see the reasons for these low quality scores you can see ad relevance below average expected click-through rate below average and this is caused by the account not having ad ads a, a number of ads and specifically ads that are catered towards these keywords because if you've got an ad that's very generic and doesn't mention any of the um things that are related to the keywords that you're targeting you're going to get a low quality score and you're going to get a low click-through rate people are not going to be engaged by your ads and your ads is the first step to getting enticing potential customers to get in contact with your business so with this particular account there's a lot of work to be done there's a lot of areas that can be improved and that's just by looking at the account for a few minutes uh, so i hope this uh video can help uh, show you what is um, what the common mistakes are within accounts that are very common to see uh, how to 
identify those mistakes. Perhaps you can see if those mistakes have been done in your account or some of your clients' accounts by your ad managers, and you can investigate that and see if that's an issue. If you have found this video to be useful, then feel free to subscribe for additional content. I make a uh, uh, additional videos giving tips and advice on how to improve the performance of your Google Ads campaigns. And thank you for watching.